Welcome back, and if you're wondering what I mean by welcome back, that means you missed part 1. Go watch it first. Anyway, hopefully you finished the last video with your base set up, with a rough location, and you have file logging enabled. What we're going to do now is take that location log, have it post-process to get an accurate final position, and then enter that into your RT case. You will then have a fixed position that you can reliably use to direct your machinery that hopefully won't deviate from any existing lines you might have put in while using a commercial provider. Log into your base with the address http colon forward slash forward slash base gnss dot local. You should see your base doing its usual thing roughly in the area the antenna sits. In the last video, we advised you would need a full 24 hours worth of logging, so if you turned it on Monday night, you will process all Tuesday's log, which will only be available of course on Wednesday. The first thing we can do is turn file logging off, we won't be needing that again. Ignore the green entrop A and B buttons, as this is an operational base, they are already turned on. We will do that step for yours later. We need to download the logs in the right format, so go to the logs tab and click the pencil next to the oldest full day zip file you see. Be careful not to pick the smaller partial day file that might be next to it. And select Enarchan as the format. And then create Rinex file. On a Raspberry Pi 3, this may take a few minutes to complete, so be patient. Once finished, download the file and if your browser warns you about the file type, ensure you keep it. We'll then switch to the Enarchan website where we will send our file for processing. You will need to create a free account here if you don't have one. Once that's done, log in and select static and ITRF and then upload your file as shown. Next, open your email client and wait for the report. It should only take a few minutes. Then, we'll go to the web page that will convert the results for you. Follow the instructions carefully there, with your report email to hand. Open the summary as instructed, and copy the report. Then, paste it in the blue box on the website. Press the first green button to extract data. Then, click the second button, which has now turned green, and a new page will open up. Scroll down and expand the box with the results in. Copy the results, return to the previous page, and paste them in. Now click the third button and now you have your perfectly positioned location. Copy the coordinates, return to RTK base and in settings, main service, paste the new location, overwriting your approximate one. Don't forget to save. Remember, this base is already configured, but your N trip A and B buttons won't be enabled at this time. We'll cover that next. Finally, on the conversion webpage, click the fourth button to export a file to help you get your base registered with a caster. So, what is casting? Casting is short for broadcasting. At the moment, you have configured your base at its true location, but nobody can reach it. The machines in the field have no way to use the information it is generating. That's where the caster comes in. The caster's job is to receive the corrections you stream from your base, and the machines in the field will take the stream of corrections from it. You only send the data once, no matter how many machines connect. There are a few public casters available, links in the description, and you can pick any, but we would recommend Centipede and RTK Data or RTK2 Go. Each caster has its own requirements for how to register a base and the details, but we'll take Centipede as an example here. The first thing we need to do is decide upon a name for your base, what's known as a mount point in RTK speak. Centipede have a naming requirement of four letters if you want to register with them, so we'll first want to check that the name you want hasn't been claimed by someone else. Go to the web address shown here and it will retrieve what's known as the caster table. Use the Ctrl and F key combination, or just scroll through the list and search to see if the name you want to use is there, and if it is, pick something else. 
Once you've decided on something that doesn't show in the table already, you need to email Centipede and ask them to register you so you are included in the caster table. Compose an email to contact at centipede.fr and include the following information. Be sure to attach the full output.zip file from your email from NRCAN2. Take a couple of photos showing your antenna with a clear view of the sky. And you should be done! While the base is being registered, you can then set up your base to push to Centipede, but it will not appear in the mount table until registered. For some systems, that will not be a problem, but others that read the table and insist you pick one from the list, for example, FJ Dynamics, will not work yet. Simply fill out the details, as above, ensuring your new for letter mount point name is in the right place. The password is Centipede in lower case. Then press save and slide the end trip a service to on. You are now broadcasting your station to yourself and your community. So, without heading to the fields, how do you know it's working? It's recommended to download the excellent app Entrip Checker, available on Android and iOS, links are in the description, and we can enter some details and see what's happening. Follow the screenshots here, mirroring what we have in your Entrip settings, and see what your base sees. Press the My Location button to fill in your approximate location. Because your new base isn't in the caster table yet, you have to type it in manually, so do that. Give it a name, and save it. And then connect. If all is good, you should see plenty of information all coming from your RTK base. All that's left is to connect your machine to it. Here are some sample configurations from Fend, John Deere, and Case New Holland. Be aware that you will likely need to supply your own SIM card, and these can be found easily online. And that's it done! Remember to pick another caster to use for Ntrip B in case Centipede has some issue sometime, and then you can just change the settings in your machine to jump to it. I hope this helped you out, and if you haven't heard of AG Open GPS, now is the time to go searching for it. Thanks to all the great contributors who made RTK Base, Centipede, and all the components that make this work. Goodbye!